Today, I'm diving into my personal collection of everyday carry gear organizers, specifically my EDC carry alls that keep my gear in check. Let's check it out. Hey, what's up? Mikey Messini here with Mikey Daily Carry, helping you build influence with everyday carry. And on here, I provide EDC gear reviews and tips to encourage you to carry daily. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Now, as a busy dad, I don't have time to sit and choose gear every day. So I've curated a selection of carry-alls that gives each piece of gear its fair use in my collection. Whether you're looking to streamline your EDC setup or just love seeing how others stay prepared, stick around. You don't want to miss this. These are my carry all setups. Now, I just want to start by saying that the knives here do rotate and the items itself do rotate, but for the most part, I've set it up so that way it's just easy for me to grab and go. That's the whole purpose of this. Without any particular order, I'm just gonna grab carry alls and explain what I have in it. First off, if I wanna go with like a miniature carry, this one right here is the Boulder Wallet by Arc Company. In here, it opens up like so. And this is multicam black because you know me, I love me some MCB, baby. Let's talk about what I have in here. Starting off with the light. This right here is the Mech Army SGN3. And this charges via micro USB right over here. Has a lot of different modes. That just sits in this pocket right here. So let me put that right back in there. Okay. And then I have the Vero. Fulcrum Mini. This right here has the little Weeha bits because you put it on here and that way you have your little bit driver but it's also a pry bar. And then I also have the Mini Bastion Bolt Action Pen. Really like the pens by Bastion. You can really feel that bolt action there. Super strong. And then right in the middle I got a knife. And this one right here is one by Daily Carry Co. This one right here is their uh, gravity knife this is their ai slide aluminum and obviously there's pockets right there so that way i can slide my cards if i want to like my ids or credit card next on the list another one by art company is going to be the rambler xl and in here i have a pen by smooth precision pens this is an all titanium bolt action pen and then for my light i have the Arkfeld Pro by Olight. You got your laser, you got your UV, you got your flashlight. Fits right in there like a glove. And then I got a left-handed Warrior by Concept Knives. So this right here is left hand only. Really like that. S45VN, reliable steel. And in this carry-all, I still have room back here. If I ever want to put any cards or anything like that, that will fit in there. No problem next on the list is gonna be one by viperade now i don't know the exact model of this i'm gonna have to link that in the description down below but this was given to me at shot show and what's really cool about this is that it has this clip here for your belt or your pants and then it has this webbing right here for a bolt action pen which i have in there right now this is the lefty tactile turn pen this is a full size it has a multi-tool in here as well, so you can use that hole to just pop that out. This is the Leatherman Wave Plus. And then I have the LD30 by Phoenix Flashlight. This is how you change the modes on the light, and there's a tail switch to turn it on and off. So that right there just actuates the light itself. So I have that in that carry-all. Next is going to be this one right here. So this is an unreleased one of one MCB Cordura Cruiser 4.0. You guys know I love my Cruiser wallets. So this is a prototype that we were messing with when we were thinking of just going Cordura. But instead we are going to go leather. We're going to go with a 5.0 instead of a 4.0. But this one right here has my lefty Vero Synapse. You can fit various things on uh, this molly webbing right here. Molly webbing. And then that right there is the Wubin X3. Super nice light. It has an indicator right there on how the battery is. That has my way to slice, way to light. And then I have an attachment here that usually has a pen that I hold 
in addition to some ranger eyes and other patches that I put on here or if I want to attach any other modular things on here I'll do that as well moving forward so oh this right here is just an attachment this is a cruiser 5 attachment by inky EDC and Mike Cruz I went with a little Mike Carter theme here Mike Carter titanium so I got the Mike Carter beer bomb by notorious EDC that's in OD green and then I also have the OD green Chavez tack love this guy also got Ramon's signature on there Kind of fading away i have that and then for the pen i have one by big eye design and this is the pocket pro in stonewash titanium so i got that in this cruiser attachment which i can actually put on the back of this if i wanted and now i have that attachment let's just pull this one right here this is the expedition by everyday adventure co i don't know if you can see it in the camera but that is multi-cam black leather this right here is the utility knife by big eye design oriented to the left side frame lock utility knife super awesome and then right here is the pocket pry by big eye design i got it in black these are here are magnets super cool and fun to just fidget with and that fits right up here no problem the light that i have here you're gonna see this a lot but i have i3t's and this is an i3t titanium on the front i have a pen this right here is a mini twist pen by big eye design as well stonewash titanium you guys can see i went with a big eye design theme on this one brandon over at everyday adventure co check him out let's just move down this way this right here is the bar 2.0 this is by unlucky leather co this is the front this is the back and how that looks also multi-cam black you guys know that i have the carbon fiber i3t fits in there like a glove he fits the holes to the specific light you have too so don't just think that you have to do an i3t you just let them know and you can customize the type of lights that you have if you have a cwf or if you have any other barrel lights he'll measure that and make it to that specific light and this right here is a zirconium lefty mini tactile turn bull action pen on the front here i have a actually let me show you what knife i have in here so this right here is a lefty fenrir sparrow knife co concept knives greg shop design s45 vn you're looking at pleon titanium and marble carbon fiber and then on the front side if i don't want to use that knife I can use this and this right here is the tpt slide and i got this in black dlc titanium comes with a pry as well and that right there can hold bits so that way you can use that as a little screw and then the blade can switch out or you can take that off so that way this can be tsa approved and you have yourself a bottle opener this one right here is the i believe it's the v3 by by's leather this pen right here is one by kara's pen co this is a bolt action pen and then the tools that I have here is a donut i3t and I have the purple Riot XOU, U standing for utility. Super fun knife to just toy with. Slice, right, light is what I got there. Another one by BYs is this right here, and this is their carry-all. This is the large version, and in here for my light, I have the Baton 4. Okay, you got that green with gold accents. Also another really great light. And then for my pen, I have one by Big Eye Design. And this right here is by far one of my favorite pens. This is the Bolt Action Pen. I have it oriented to the left-hand side changed out that bolt here to a Timascus instead of the regular plain Jane black that they had. And then for my knife, I have one by Civivi. This right here is the Vision in green micarta. Also have that oriented to the left hand side. Super fun knife. I also have a bunch of Demcos and they share that same type of locking mechanism. Very fun to fidget with. And then my pry is gonna be one by Vero Engineering. And this is the mini fulcrum. If I can just get this out of here, wow. Some of these tools I really got in there tough. 
But this right here is the mini fulcrum. You got black titanium with stonewashed clip. I got that hiding right in there. Right here in the middle, this is the Inky Cruiser 5.0. It has this C5 black attachment. And in here I have the Benchmade bug out OG. This is probably like the first knife I've ever bought. And the scales are one by Yates Knife Co. This is a uh, bronze, antique bronze scales, or uh, antique brass, I'm sorry. I went with a brass theme here because I got a brass I3T, and then I also got a brass pen. And then on the back side, so what's cool about the 5.0 compared to the 4.0 is that the 4.0 already has this webbing etched into the wallet itself. But the 5.0, you can take off the attachment, and now you have Velcro on one side and the other side. And speaking of this side, this is a custom MCB beer bomb slip made by my boy High Tide EDC. All of these things I'm gonna link in the description below, but I got my Stonewash Titanium Big Papa in there. Fits like a glove, you hear that noise? I love that. Oof, okay. So this attachment goes on right here, but say I wanna go with a camo attachment, well, Voila, now you got a camo attachment on that as well. You know what I'm saying? Moving on to this one right here. This is an attachment made by Everyday Adventure Co. and your boy. We're actually gonna be releasing this cruiser attachment. So as you can see, this right here is a pen attachment that's sold by Ugly Yellow House EDC, U-Y-H EDC. Again, I will link this in the description below, but what I like about this is that I can attach this to even the 4.0, and now I got a pen attachment that didn't come normally with the front side. So I like that. And then I just have that, boom, right here, hugging the Cruiser Attachment by Everyday Adventure Co. And in here, I have my mini bolt action pen. Same thing as the bolt action pen here, just a mini size. All right, I have a discount code for them as well. I'll make sure I link down below. And I'll slide that right in here. And then this knife right here was sent to me by CRKT. And this right here is a slip joint. They call this the APC, Always Pocket Carry. M390 blade, this right here is a slip joint. Boom, walk and talk is very nice. Super small, minimalistic. Obviously it fits like a glove, boom, right in there. I also like switching that out with a Notorious Kingpin from time to time. And then right next to that is the Leatherman Style PS. Discontinued, but still a gem. This thing goes through TSA all the time. Never get it taken away, never get it questioned or anything like that. Now, don't quote me if that happens to get taken from you. Maybe I'm just lucky. And this right here is the Cruiser 5.0 that I'm going to be releasing with my Cruise. Oh, these are um, Stax patches, by the way. This is how I had this set up. This is a Utopia Stax patches. I got Travis, Kanye. Let me take these guys off right now. So that is the Cruiser MCB, which is also MCB on the inside. And I got my cards in there. I got about five cards in there right now. So I can close that up. And then I can just attach that attachment right there. And then that backside is opened up because if I just wanna whoop, lay that right there and then add another one, whoop, there you are, all set up, cruising all day. Moving on to pair drops. So this right here will not sit in my pocket, obviously. This will be carried and grabbed if I have a sling on me. I have some patches right up front. I got Blackout EDC, Mike Cruz, Good Life, HCP, Tony, Inky EDC, Pocket Filth. This is also by Mike Cruz. I got a beer bomb right there. Uh, Pinoy, all right. And this right here is from Phytonics. All in this pair drop pair pouch. So you open that up. And on this side, I got a HCP Good Life coin. I got a regular size OD Green beer bomb by Notorious EDC, which just fits like a glove right in there. And then I move it over to this side and I got the kingpin that I was talking about that I rotate with this knife over here, the APC. And I have that living right here, right in this area. I just push that up with my thumb, take that out. This right here is an Olight IR2. I just slide that right down in there. And then the pen that I have is a black twist pen by Big Eye Design. 
all in this pear pouch. This was my grail pouch for a long time. Finally acquired it. I even got a second one and I sold that, but that is what I got living in there. And this I'll typically carry if I have a sling on me. Sticking to pear drop. This right here is the Triari 3.0. This here has my jigsaw. This is probably by far one of my favorite pens in addition to the big eye design, but this is a lefty bolt action jigsaw pen. Too bad they uh, went out of business. Kelvin's, Kelvin's looking to getting into knives. This right here is a pry bar by Daily Carry Co. Got your bottle opener because what is an EDC tool if you don't got a bottle opener? And then of course you got your clip right there. And then the light that I have is one by, oh my gosh, I'm blanking out on this. I am going to comment this down below. I apologize. I wasn't prepared for this. I've actually, I'm actually really surprised. I remember all the other gear. This light's nice. It's titanium, copper, hold it, right? It just progresses. And I got that living right there. And then the knife that I have here is a grail. And that is the lefty Umnanzan drop point, baby. Take a look at this that so i got that right in there and now moving on to the last carry-all and that's this right here another one by pear drop and this is the general this is also a triari different because it doesn't have a coin slot on the back as you can see there that's the differences between these and in here i got one of my favorite pry bars and this one right here is one by gondek edc this is the traveler pry bar traveler pry bar comes with a bottle opener it's a pry bar has a jagged edge right here and right here so you can cut open boxes pocket clip got my pick skull four-way bead on there by pocket filth and then my pen i have the mini click by big eye design in raw titanium finish and then my light is one by ace beam and this one right here is the rider rx 2.0 you got stonewash titanium, you got blue aluminum hardware on the inside. This comes out like so, so that way you can twist this off and that's where the battery goes in. I think it's a 14C. And then for the knife, your boy got another grail and another Zahn. This right here is the lefty Zahn Tonto. Zanto babies. So yes, I am set with my acquisitions of grails. But those, my friends, are my carry-alls. I am curious to know, which of these carry-alls do you like? Which stand out to you? Peep it, let me know. Holla at your boy. Now there you have it folks, those are my carry-all setups. I do rotate the gear out of each carry-all, but for the most part, they're set up for me ready to go because in a pinch, I just need to grab something and get out of the house. If you guys like this video and you feel like I provided you some value, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're still here, consider subscribing if you're not one already. And if you wanna take it a step further, become a member of the Mikey Daily Carry channel. Again, my name is Mikey Messina. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Peace out. Waka